Hello and welcome to a new chapter in the city. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a new type of quest which is called the Six Warrior Quest. I have not uh, completed this. And I decided to record my attempt to see how I do now. Obviously, uh, I already have two Ultima weapons and everybody here is blue because of course they are. So let's see how this goes. My man is supposedly immune to, you know, physical. Let's assume he doesn't know what that means. Let's 
けたゲッツェ Okay, so now his defense should be really, really high, and he should get fixed turn, right? Okay. That should not be an HP attack, yeah. And here I should be feeling worse. Okay. Okay, we got should be. Yield. I find him very annoying because he cuts in our order and he puts a lot of debuffs on you, which I don't like. Okay, 
Now that is something that I do not fancy. Meet him there, quite frankly. I love Zack, he's a monster. An absolute monster. Oh my. That pisses me off though. Okay, perfect. The only thing that matters now is to get him out of the red aura. And I think I am absolutely safe after that. I think I am absolutely safe and I think I can. Yeah, I need selfie. Get here, selfie. Oh, 
That man is almost dead. Perfect. Go, Selfie. All right, almost. I'm seeing the victory here. <laughs> There's nothing you have on me. <laughs> there we go. He's finally out of the red aura. And that's the only thing I need to worry about. This fight is fun. Oh, it has one mechanic. Just the one. If you can avoid the one mechanic, it's not even... Okay. And this man is absolutely worthless. It's not even worth anybody's time. Yeah, there's your resistance, man! There's your resistance! You're a little bit of a little bit of a little bit Come on, Garnet, I believe in you. I want that man dead. Good girl. Oh, good. Perfect. Good job, Garnet. What's your gimmick now? When they said welcome to the end, they were right. Let's just say it that way.
Come on, summon. So now that I've completed the six warrior quest and gotten myself familiar with the fight, let's talk about the only mechanic that matters. This man. Well, this man has one mechanic that matters. This man has about two mechanics that matter. So the only mechanic that matters for this man is that essentially when he does his big AoE HP attack, which he is going to do because after a certain point in time, he will cut in turns before uh, up until he does his big AoE HP attack. For that, he will place a button of debuffs on you. The spell, apparently not everything, but the spell enough to put his debuffs on you, which is why something like a Yuna call or something that can help you remove those debuffs is important. That's the only mechanic that matters from this man. Otherwise, he's not important. He quite literally does not matter. <laughs> like, you saw his resistances. I was still doing a butt ton of damage to him. He does not matter. Alright, let's talk about the guy who actually matters. He has two auras, the red and the blue. The red one is actually the dangerous one in my personal opinion, especially if you're bringing Zack. If you're bringing Zack, you don't care about the blue aura. The blue aura is shy. The only thing that you have to worry about is the red aura, because his Lufinia orb is quite literally bring a healer. HP regen per turn. Well, uh, well who does this? Garnet? Uh, Zack himself does this. Snow does this. If you're bringing Snow, like, uh, Firion does this on the... Oh, does Firion do this? No, I don't think Firion does that. I forgot if Garnet has healing, has passive healing. I don't think she does, but Zang definitely has healing. Um, so yeah, you just need passive healing for the orb. The orb is a formality and the orb is only around when his red aura is around, which means that it doesn't matter. Uh, for the reasons that I'm about to explain. His red aura is the only thing that matters because that's the only thing that can kill you. Essentially, if during the red aura, your tank or any character that gets below uh, 30%, he will instantly remove all of their buffs and insta-kill them. So Zack will die if he gets below 30%. And if you are bringing Zack, that's the only dangerous thing about this fight. In essence, the his red aura. Otherwise, his blue aura, who cares? He does a bravery attack the first time. Then he does an AoE HP attack, which Zack tanks like a chump. Like, who cares about his blue aura? His red aura is the one that's important. Because the red aura essentially kills Zack. <laughs> which is the reason why during the red aura, you burst. That's the reason why I burst with Zack initially, and that's the reason why I have Sid Reigns, even though I have Selfie here, because I wasn't planning on bringing Selfie until the second stage. Ignore Emperor, he was never used. <laughs> uh, so, nor Quistus, you don't need Quistus. So basically, Selfie, no call, Emperor is not necessary, so this slot can just be empty. <laughs> but if you need more buffs, that's a free slot for you. Um. I don't know if she's that important. She's mostly here for the heals um, and for the bravery regen during Zack's BT phase. Uh, to keep his bravery up high, you can replace her with Keys, and that will essentially be the same thing, only do more damage because Keys refund. So <laughs> Keys is better, quite frankly, I would say. Like, if I were to redo this scene, this would definitely be Keys, and I would be like. Um. Immediately popping keys, then going into Zack's BT. And you go after this guy until he can't be hit anymore. Because Zack, especially if you have an Ultima weapon, Zack, like you will run through his HP like I did. And especially if he's supported by a Rams and bloody like Ethereum can be replaced with, I would say, um, what's his name? Uh, 
Good. I forgot his name. What is his name? Sire him. Him. You can replace Firion with him, let's say. You can have um Peace Call and Siren. They do the same thing. It's just raising your damage up in order for Zack to do more damage during his BT phase. And uh, what you essentially want to do is get to this guy's blue aura so rush through the red aura because the red aura is doing some amount of hp and you don't want zach to be sitting there losing turns while this guy is jumping turns hitting zach and constantly getting his hp down because the red aura is draining your hp by 4000 something and Zack doesn't heal for that much, so essentially if you're not healing every turn and you let that aura run its course, eventually Zack will fall below the HP threshold because Zack gets to 50% naturally when he releases his burst. So if... Like, you can run into a lot of problems, which is why I recommend just instantly bursting with Zack. Set up first, like, burst with Ramza. <laughs> <laughs> burst plus with Ramza, you know, burst plus with Fury and Siren, whatever, whoever you're bringing here, or Garnet, um, and then you burst with Zack. And after you get this man to the blue aura, you focus the rest of your attacks during the BT phase on this man, because he has no HP and no gimmicks aside from that one time when he jumps in front of you. At 75%, which is why uh, Yuna is here. Yuna is here to remove his debuffs. So if you have a call like Yuna, if not Yuna, I don't know if you have, if you actually bring Sid Reigns here in the party. Sid Reigns is the X is a full mass dispel. So if you have Sid Reigns on standby, but then again you won't have Sid Reigns here. So I don't know another call that removes debuffs. I forgot which one of those do that. Off the top of my head, I haven't been that hardcore into this idea for a while now um so yeah burst through his bt phase uh, during the sec and he has two phases of the uh, burst through his red aura i mean and he has two phases of those which is why i personally wanted the summon for his second phase but i didn't need it because i did enough damage to him to take him out of the red aura with the triple bt you should be doing enough damage to get him out of the red aura because during the red aura he actually can be delayed it's only during the blue aura that you can't delay so if you have your selfie your rams that they will be able to delay him with the od if you have your emperor he will be able to delay him with the od um i mean with his traps uh and uh, from what i know I don't remember if they have guarantee attacks, but they have a lot of gimmicks if you click on them. They have a lot of gimmicks and most of them don't matter. The only thing that matters is the red aura for this man. You want to get him to the blue aura as fast as possible because Zack does not care about the blue aura. Now, I will say something. I do actually have Snow uh, BT+. Plus, and I was here with Snow and this man's attack killed my whole party with Snow. So do that as you will. I think you need wall shields for this. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie with you, Snow did not convince me that he's the better tank here instead of Zack. Zack can tank this man like it's nobody's business, Snow does not do that. <laughs> so yeah, do that as you will. Uh, I personally prefer Zack, I don't think Snow is a viable option, not for this man. I didn't like how he performed. Um, and yeah, that was essentially my team, Quist, this is useless. I don't even know if she was very useful at the end. Uh, because they were mostly broken most of the time. They don't actually have that much bravery gains. He has fixed bravery when he gets to his blue aura, so you can't really do much of anything about it, so I don't know. I think these were the only useful calls. I didn't even use this. Uh, and basically, one, two, three, your, your selfies and your sirens or whatever his name is, and... Uh, this should be a cakewalk. Uh, but yeah, that was my round. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.